All right, guys, this is Nick Phillips today with uh, PH Lawn Care, but more importantly, with Echo Means Business. If you haven't downloaded the app, go ahead and do that now. It's, uh, you can get it on the App Store. Uh, it's Echo Means Business, or go to echomeansbusiness.com and sign up. There's great giveaways, great contests they have, and tons of excellent content. But today we're talking about the HCA 2620. Now, I have three different pieces of Echo equipment here. Uh, this is the SRM 2620. This is the T version for high torque. This is the PPT 2620, which is the extended pole saw. And of course, what I just said, um, we're gonna be talking about the HCA 2620. Now, the first thing that I noticed out of the box that I like about this is once you're familiar with this head unit, uh, I love the 2620T as my grab and go everyday trimmer but these head units are basically all the same. So once you're familiar with one of these and you go buy another piece of Echo equipment, you're gonna be familiar with it. The choke, the prime, how they start. The handles are the same on these. They did do it a little different on the PPT. Uh, it does have a different handle, but it's basically the same concept. Forwards on, backs off, just like this. Forward on, back off squeeze it, pull it, squeeze it, pull it. So it's the same concept. So the very first thing that I liked about this was the familiarity that I had with, by, that I've already experienced with this equipment. I already know this piece of machinery. I already know this. So whenever I pick this up, I already know how to use it. So that's right off the bat, one of the top pros of this piece of equipment that I like. The second thing that I noticed, if I can get this stuff out of the way here and we'll focus on this. I have an articulating hedge trimmer from another manufacturer. So whenever I got this out of the box, I noticed there's no uh, D handle on it. The other, manu the other hedge trimmer I have has a D handle on it. Now I, I thought that was kind of odd, but actually it turns out I like that better because when I'm using this piece of equipment, I find now everybody's technique is different, but my technique, whenever I'm doing a flat top hedge, I tend to hold it like this so it's level and I can go along and guide it. Whereas if you've got the D handle, it's really useless because you're gonna be using this. So I actually like not having the D handle on this piece of equipment. I, I just, and it, this is a nice rubber grip, so it doesn't slide around in your hand. Uh, it feels very thick, so I, I think the longevity of it will be pretty good. And I also like the fact that they gave you a hand guard here. Now, um, Echo, if you're watching, we talked about something else not too long ago. So this right here would be a great idea for that other thing we talked about. Uh, very inexpensive, but yet very effective. So uh, I, I really like that aspect of it. It does have a, a chain here for a uh, strap to go across. Seriously doubt I'll ever use that just because your range of motion is so much. I, I won't need it. Um, I'll probably just leave that on there and not even pull with the strap. So as y'all know, just like the 2620, uh, string trimmers, choke, prime. This one's already been started. Sorry about that. But that easy. Ready? Okay, to operate the range of motion for the articulating part, there's a button right here, button right here. Squeeze that and it lets that go and you just spin it. So you can see it goes all the way around there and then same here. So you got this, if you're reaching above you to get flat, you can do like that. Most of the time you'll be using it flat, but I also find that I like it just cocked like that. If you're getting right above you, you can get those angles. So the ease of use on this is great. And if you have uh, 
trimmer racks in your trailer, equipment defender, green touch, whatever, you can hold it like that and it goes great in the trailer. Just put your uh, clamps on it and it fits great. Can't wait to get it in my green touch rack, but it's brand new. Hadn't had a chance to get it on there, but it will be on the trailer soon. So let's show you another advantage of this that I found. This is a long unit. We're gonna walk over here. Come on, Jordan. <laughs> All right, so we're at what the seven foot garage door. I'm six foot two. Got this thing. This is how high up you can reach to trim with this. What are we talking? 12, 14 feet, maybe? Oh, yeah, more than that. <laughs> Something like that. So, great. That's going to enable you to safely trim very tall hedges without the use of a ladder. So that is an excellent benefit of this. So you've got the articulating, huge benefit, and the, the sheer length of it to allow you to safely trim the bigger hedges. Also great benefits of this piece of equipment. Now, if we walk over here, you can take a look at what we're dealing with today. All kinds, these are good sized shrubs. Unfortunately, I don't have any hedges that I'm gonna be using very high up. I'll probably mainly use the straight angle to do these. But the second, or the other thing that I was wanting to point out that um, whenever I was saying about buying this piece of equipment, as opposed to just your regular handheld hedge trimmers, where you're doing smaller bushes like we saw over there, it tends to wear on your back a lot. So I think that you could probably, in some situations, not have to use the handheld hedge trimmer that's gonna put the strain on your back because you'll be able to trim them using this and not have to bend over as far. So that's my theory on it. So far, I'm gonna get you guys some footage of actual trimming and then uh, let you take a look at it and judge for yourself. <laughs>
that I cut off up there for about an inch thick, something like that. So, as you can tell, that thing has plenty of power. Shaped it up real nice. I'll do some finishing touches on it and she's good to go. But that 2620 has plenty enough power to go through that. And of course those branches I just showed you. So, got the handheld hedge trimmers. If I can get it started. <laughs> Constant bending over. Let's see what we can do with the pole saw, or I mean with the HCA almost as much with this as you can with that the only hindrance that I, I find to it is what I would expect and that's when you're in close quarters with other bushes and up close to the house you'll have to constantly watch because you don't want the 2620 going through a window and then whenever you're this close proximity to other bushes that may be a little dip, more difficult or the handheld would come in handy but if this was a different setup where these were all in a line going down the front of a house per se, this will definitely save your back because you could get the fronts and sides of them easy to tie without having to bend over and put that strain on your back that you know six, eight hours of hedge trimming that, that night whenever you get home, you need some Advil to take care of that pain. This will help alleviate that. Of course, it's not gonna eliminate it totally but uh, it definitely will help on the smaller hedges. So as far as I can tell, I don't, I've only used it for a couple hours now, but as with all Echo products, I have very few complaints about any of them, uh, the HCA 2620 included. So far, I haven't found any cons. I'm sure I'll do a follow-up video on it um, soon, but as for now, articulating, the height that you can reach, the versatility of the articulating, the rubber grip, the reliability, and familiar, er, familiarity with uh, the 2620 head unit. It's just a great piece of equipment. I would highly recommend any of y'all that have to do some hedge trimming, landscaping to add it to your trailer. Um, so far, I'm loving it. So uh, thanks, Echo. Thanks, Echo means business. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave some comments, uh, get a conversation started on this. And if you have any questions, shoot them. Um, and as always, you guys have, have a great day and be sure to download the app, uh, Echo Means Business or go to echomeansbusiness.com. Thank y'all. All right, everybody. This wasn't a mulch job. This was clean it up, trim it up, get it cleaned out. And if the new owners want mulch, they can do it because the house is going on the market but as you can tell that echo 2620 hedge trimmer did a fabulous job there you go